AirPlay 2 is here. Finally, right? And with it comes two of the major features we were promised when HomePod was first announced a year ago, stereo pairing and multi-room audio. Pairing is super easy. If you set up a HomePod in the same HomeKit room, it automatically asks you if you want to create a stereo pair. You can also go into the Home app and pair or unpair two HomePods at any time. Check which one is left and right and switch them if needed. Once they're paired, the HomePods work the same as before. You simply select the pair as your target. You can do that with the iPhone or iPad in apps or from the control center. And you can do it with Apple TV from the audio source list. and the sound is terrific. It's like a HomePod duet. Just like with a single HomePod, the first song the stereo pair plays is used to detect their location and the geometry of the room. But now the two processors work in concert. They communicate together using a custom connection to adjust the bass EQ for each mic and apply the same filter so the sound is consistent. The left and right HomePods don't just split left and right channels either. They split left and right ambient audio. Thanks to computational audio and beamforming, it creates a similar three-dimensional sound to a single HomePod, only wider and fuller and without being constrained to a tiny little sweet spot like some traditional speaker systems. Multi-room is just as easy to set up and use. You simply pick the appropriate rooms for your HomePods and then you can pick them just like you would any other AirPlay target. Only now it's multiple choice. Choose living room and bedroom and the same song or podcast or audiobook plays in both locations at the same time. So you can walk around the house or office and hear everything perfectly in sync. Siri has also picked up some new commands to go with the new AirPlay 2 functionality. You can now say things like, play some music in here and the closest HomePod will pick it up. Tuning in your personal radio station. First up, Queen. Then you can say, move the music or song to the bedroom and it'll switch HomePods. You can also say play some jazz everywhere and all your home pods will spin up. Now playing pure jazz radio everywhere. Same with volume up and down, here, there, or everywhere. I've turned it down. And with stop. The HomePod update also includes calendar support, so you can ask, what's on my calendar? You have five upcoming appointments. Where's my next meeting? Your next appointment is at Starbucks. When's my doctor appointment? Your appointment on Monday is at 9 a.m. Or you can say, set up a meeting with Jarvis on Monday at 2 p.m. You have a meeting about query, REM, that overlaps with this. For a stereo pair, all the microphones will work together to listen, but for consistency's sake, serial defaults are applying through the left HomePod. LOL. I'm glad you think it's funny. You can change that anytime you like by touching the right HomePod and it'll stay changed. Turn on Siri. LOL. Since Apple is making AirPlay 2 available to other companies, we'll also be seeing compatible speakers from Bang & Olufsen, Bose, Bow & Wilkinson, Sonos, and many others. And that means you'll be able to fill your rooms with a variety of hardware and sounds. The only thing cooler would be filling it with your own music. Skillshare can help you with that. It's an online learning community with over 20,000 courses, including a bunch of great ones on music making and production. It's unlimited, all you can learn. And because Skillshare is sponsoring the show, you can use the special link in the description, the one right, right down there, and get your first two months absolutely free. Seriously, fill your brain. Thank you, Skillshare. Coming June 18, you'll be able to get HomePod in Canada, Germany, and France as well. Yes, it's all core functionality that should have been on HomePod at launch, but it's here now. It's working for me as advertised, and big surprise, I'm loving it. Siri itself still needs a major update, of course, including more domains and especially media domains, so everything from Spotify to Audible to Overcast can play natively on the hardware. And Handoff needs to let us move audio not just between HomePods, but between all Apple devices. But for people all in on the Apple ecosystem who care deeply about audio quality and its computational future, or just want to be able to drop great sounding speakers anywhere, anytime, and have them sound great, HomePod is better than ever. And given Apple's track record, what I'm most curious about is just how far this hardware will be pushed by future software updates. But now I want to know what you think. Is this too little too late, the update you've been waiting for, or are you already all in? Let me know in the comments, and please hit like, hit subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Maximum effort.